Good afternoon on this beautiful and sunny day again. It's Isn't it beautiful out? Uh, yesterday was wonderful and warm. Today it took a little while getting there, but we got there, didn't we? It's beautiful here in Kingston, Pennsylvania as I come to you um, as we progress into Holy Week. I just wanted to give you some updates on our online services that will be uh, occurring on Thursday, uh, Friday, and Sunday. Uh, we will be having a communion service on Thursday. Uh, where you all can join together with me as we participate in communion with a small reflection. Uh, that will be um, Thursday night at 6 o'clock. Uh, also, you can join us for a Good Friday service that will be only televised from our Dornsey United Methodist Church's Facebook site. Um, that will be at 8 o'clock on Sunday night, and then will be rebroadcasted on Luzerne United Methodist Church's site and rebroadcasted on First United Methodist Church. Pittston's church uh, site. So feel free to, to enjoy those services as we get through Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday. And then, of course, on Easter, which we are all looking forward to, even though we're doing it a lot differently uh, this year. Um, that will be on Sunday morning. Uh, there'll be a service at 9 o'clock on Luzerne United Methodist Church's Facebook site live, and also at 1030 on Dornston United Methodist Church's Facebook site uh, with Steve Perello joining us uh, for uh, music for that service. And it might be an interesting way how we might do it if we can get it to work right. But uh, that's a little bit of a surprise for you. What you call it, what do you call it? An Easter egg? But that's a little Easter egg that is out there for you to, to look forward to on Sunday. But I just wanted to remind you when we come together for our communion service on Thursday, um, together at six o'clock. I want to make sure what you have in front of you is I would like to read how we will uh, go about this service. Um, we don't usually do this um, virtually. We want to be in communion and communi community with everyone, um, but we've been given uh, permission from our bishop to be able to do this online through you temporar with you um, temporarily until we are through this uh, COVID-19. So I just wanted, it, it's very important that you at home um, are not distracted at the time of when we have this communion, that you are fully involved, have your family around the table, however you may be. Um, the service will be sharing of the Holy Communion, or like we call it, the Lord's Supper. Um, we'll ask for you to please uh, prepare yourself and pray. Um, I will be going through the liturgy with you and guiding you through that. Um, for that, you would want to gather in front of yourself any bread or crack crackers and grape juice. If you do not have grape juice, um, you can use your best judgment on the, on the substitute or replacement for it, like juice, another juice, or water, or, or red wine, um, whatever you think is best for you. Uh, but those are a couple of things for you to make sure you have around, and we'll go through that as we progress on Monday, Thursday, and as we gather together around a table um, to participate in Holy Communion. So I just want you to have a very blessed day. All of you are my continued prayers as we go about our lives in a different way. Um, but it's also a celebration with this coming week as there is hope, there is belief, even though it might seem like we're struggling or this time's a darkness just like as we progress, just like the people did when Christ died on the cross. We are still the people of the resurrection because we know the answer and he is guiding us along. He is our guide that is pulling us along on that rope of life with him. May you have a blessed day and God bless.